a truly terrifying Halloween night for a San Carlos man whose costume caught on fire. I'm Marianne Cushy and here's what's up. A man carrying a jack-o'-lantern while dressed up in a Halloween costume suffered some really serious burn injuries when his costume caught on fire. The man told firefighters that his costume, which is a big and bulky ghillie suit, much like the one here, went up in flames like a fireball. The fire then spread to his garage. His family helped put out the flames, but he was burned on his feet and his legs. Battalion Chief Rick Ballard said many Halloween costumes are flammable, and things like this do happen sometimes. Well, it's very dangerous, you know, with all the uh, materials the costumes are made of. A lot of them, you know, people put together. They're not fire retardant. Um, when you get exposed to flame, it can catch on very, very rapidly. It melts upon people. Hundreds of people lined up to visit this spooky haunted house in Mira Mesa on Halloween night. Here, let's go inside for a second. Run while you still can. <laughs> Get ready for a fun time here at New Salem Haunts. <laughs> Salem Haunts was created by husband and wife team Richard and Ethel D. Teresa eight years ago. The neighborhood attraction started with one tent in the front yard. Well, today it has nine rooms filled with more than a dozen live actors. And the best part, it's free. The couple says it's their way of giving back to their community. Okay, enough of the scary stuff. Let's turn to some cuteness for this Friday. The Zoo Berlin in Germany shared this video of its twin panda cubs meeting for the first time. The two month old babies just snuggled and slept and just sniffed each other out. Hey, look, wake up, wake up. They haven't been named yet, but at least now they've had some sibling playtime. The zoo says the twins are getting stronger and more active by the day. For exclusive videos and photos, follow NBC San Diego on Instagram. When you click the link in our bio, you'll get even more on each story. Hi, meteorologist Sheena Parveen. It's going to be another cold evening for much of the county, so you're going you're to want that warm coat by tomorrow. Temperatures will be very similar to today to start your weekend. Dry air, plenty of sunshine. Have a great day.